Good evening. I'm Adiola Oladile. The race for the Democratic nomination for president continues. With Texas and Ohio close, and perhaps going to Clinton, the convention in August may be the deciding factor for the Democratic candidate. In Pakistan, the official result of the parliamentary election has been announced. The party of the late Benazir Bhutto is leading, followed by the party of former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Yeah. President Pavaz Musharraf's party came in a distant third place, leading to speculation about his presidency. Fidel Castro has resigned after 49 years of being Cuba's head of state. His younger brother, Raul Castro, has been confirmed as Cuba's president. Raul has been acting president for the last 19 months. Two boxers are in town this week, preparing for a showdown in Las Vegas this April. Emily Mayer was in Midtown today, where the boxers challenged each other. Two great fighters ready for one great fight. Light heavyweight champion Bernard Hopkins will defend his title against Joe Kalzaki. The undefeated Welshman is the current super middleweight champion, and with 21 consecutive title defenses, he says his division is fresh out of challenges. And I beat a lot of other fights, and this is going to be a fight. You Me know. going from, up from Wales, coming all the way to America, fighting a big mouth who believes he's <laughs> king of the castle. You know, we're going to see who's king of the castle. Enter the executioner. Out of northern Philadelphia, this 42-year-old made a comeback out of a brief retirement in 2007. While Kazaki's strategy is to slow down his famous out-of-the-gate punches and trap Hopkins, the underdog veteran plans to set his own beat for his last fight. Not just the last three or four, but every fighter I have fought in my 22 years of boxing, all the things everybody said that they can do so well that I couldn't do, I took them out of their game plan. As boxing veterans, both champions are a part of the sport's rich history, and soon they'll be part of a greater rivalry between two nations. For me, it's not looking for the easy goals. Staying in Wales is looking at the most difficult task for myself, because the more difficult the task, the better I perform. That's why I wanted to fight Bernard Hopkins. But not just fighting, but fighting in America, because that's what it's all about. Both fighters admit the battle will be a challenge, but Hopkins offers a unique perspective when comparing himself to his opponent. My resume says, compared to his resume says, that's a legend, that's a champion. That's a Ferrari. That's a Mercedes. Mercedes is a good car, but it's not a Ferrari. These well-oiled machines will be in the ring April 19 in Las Vegas. Emily Meyer for the New York City News Service. Well, somebody may soon be a millionaire. Lottery ticket sellers across New York have been busier than usual as people try their luck to pick the winning ticket. Tyler Mita was in Times Square today talking with potential winners. Got tickets? The Mega Millions jackpot is at 220 million, the ninth largest in history. New York is just one of a dozen states with Mega Millions up for grabs. Some lottery players have a method to their madness. Believe it or not, I sit down and I study the numbers because I think when I study the numbers, I get a better chance. And if I win the money, I'll take care of my family, but I will donate a lot of it to charity. While some dreams are altruistic, yes, others keep it sweet and simple and selfish. Buy houses, cars, waste money on trash, you know. I'm not going to win, I'm just in it because you got to be in it. <laughs> You're not going to win? Of course not. You know what but the odds you... are? <laughs> what are the odds? Astronomical. It's like one in nine million or something like that. Actually, it's worse. The odds of matching all five numbers and the sixth mega number are nearly one in 175 million. To help boost their chances, co-workers at MTV pooled their money together. So how many tickets did you buy for the lottery? Oh, this one, 99. 99. 99 tickets? How many people are that for? Um, yeah, 20. 21 people. The odds are tough, but one thing is certain. If you don't buy a ticket, you aren't going to win. Without a ticket, I would never know if I would have been, if I could have won. 
You know, so you have to have a ticket in order to be in the game. $220 million. I'm Tyler Mitter for the New York City News Service. Thanks for watching the New York City News Service. I'm Adiola Oladili.